welcome to easy lm learning simplified my name is ruth and today we are going to be learning on form 2 mathematics and our topic for today is area of a circle our subtopic is the area of analysis so first we are going to look at what an analysis is and then i will look at how we calculate the area of this analysis and then you get to do a few practice questions so an analysis is a ring-shaped object bounded by the circumference of two concrete circles of two different radii. So the outer and the inner circles that define the ring are concentric that shares a common center. So if you look at these two circles, so the shaded region is what we refer to as the analysis. This is what we are referring to. And you can see we have an inner circle and we have the outer circle. And both of them, they're usually having two different radii. So you can see the big uh, circle has radii capital R and the small one is more R. So the shaded region is basically what is referred to as the analysis. And when we look at the area of the analysis, basically we'll be taking the area of the bigger circle minus the area of the smaller circle. And remember, the area of a circle is by r squared. So that's the reason. So it is by r, capital R, minus by r, small r. So pi is the common value. That's why we are putting the pi outside. And it becomes r squared minus r squared. So that's why the formula becomes this. So we are also going to integrate the angle subtended by an arc in the center of a circle, also in calculation of the analysis. So watch out for that as you progress with the calculations. So let's do some sample questions so that you can integrate the formula and see how we tackle problems with it. So you have been told a path of 14 meters wide surrounds a circular loan whose diameter is 120 meters. Find the area of the path. So we have a path. So our path is going to be the inner, that is the analysis. And we have been told this path is one 14 meters wide is surrounded by a circular loan so it is surrounded so this path as you can see is surrounded by a circular loan so the circular loan is the bigger circle whose diameter so from the center of the circle to the outer um, circular is 120 meters and remember we have been told the the path is 14 meters wide this is 14 meters wide that tells us the big the, the the diameter is 120 so we can get the radius the bigger radius of the big circle is going to be 120 divided by 2 because the radius the diameter is radius plus radius so this gives us 60 by 2 1 by 2 60 so the big radius is going to be 60 meters and then the small radius you get it by subtracting 60 14 14 meters from 60 meters because remember i've been told that the, the the path is 14 meters wide and we know the radius of the big circle is 60 so it's going to be 60 meters minus 14 meters so 60 minus 14 will give us 46 so this is 46 meters so it is important for you to interpret the question well if you interpret the question well then you're able to get the calculation well so we said for us to get the area of the shaded region or the area of the of the path is going to be pi into bracket the big radius minus the small radius so our pi is going to be 22 over 7 the big radius in this case is 60 squared minus a small radius is going to be 46 squared. So this is the same as 22 over 7. So 60 squared is going to give us 3600. 
and then 46 squared is going to give us 2116. So basically we are doing 3600 minus 2116, which gives us 1484, and this is times 22 over 7. So this is the same as 22 times 1484 which is 32,648 divided by 7, which gives us 4,664. And it's going to be meter squared because it's area. So you see how we have interpreted the question and how we carried out the calculation. So let's do another practice question. So it seems that this is our width screen and you can see the wiper. So we want to calculate the area, this area covered by this wiper, but we've been given some information. We have the radius of the big uh, sector and the radius of uh, the small sector and the angle. So you see we are integrating the area of a sector in this calculation, but we are back into calculate, calculating the area of the analysis. So for us to get the area of an analysis, in this case, this shaded region, we are going to calculate the area of the large sector minus the small sector. So the large sector is going to be at the angle of a 360 pi r, now capital, squared, minus the smaller is going to be over 360, the angle, pi r squared, small r. So let's incorporate that and see. So the angle is 120 divided by 360 times 22 over 7. Our big R is going to be 16 plus 4 because we want to look at this whole distance which gives us 20. So times 20 times 20. This whole area we subtract it from 120 over 360 times 22 over 7 times the small radius now is 16 times 16. So let's do this slowly by slowly. So I know we are able to do, um, we can work out on the angles. We can cancel these zeros out. So we have 12 times 22 times 20 times 20 divided by 36 times 7 minus 12 times 22 times 16 times 16 divided by 36 times 7. So 12 times 22 times 20 times 20 gives us 105,600. And remember that a 6 times 7 gives us 252. We do the same case, the other side, which is 12 times 22 times 16 times 16, which gives us 67,584 divided by 252. So 105. Uh, 1,600 divided by 252 gives us 419.05. I've rounded it off to two decimal places, but you can also do uh, three decimal places. And then minus, so 67,000. 584 divided by 252, 67,584, 252 gives us 268.19. You can do also three decimal places as well. So this is the same as 419.05. You subtract two, you sub, you subtract 268. From one nine or oh, two sixty eight point one nine from four nineteen 
0.05 which gives me 150.86 and remember this is going to be now centimeters square so I hope you have been able to see how we get now the area of the analysis but in this case it's in sector form so it can come in different forms it shouldn't like confuse you or surprise it's good that you you are able to know how to interpret the question if you're able to know how to interpret the question then you can be able to calculate in whatever form that question comes in it's always the bigger circle or sector minus the smaller circle or sector so that brings us to the end uh you can get more revision questions uh in the app so get more revision questions and do more practice this will help you to be able to see the different ways the questions are asked and also the notes are in the app so see you in the next lesson